What is up everybody, it's Nerp here, and you say, why am I starting the video on this profile screen? That's because I want to show you guys I'm at exactly 200 judgment wins. I went five, five, uh, 5 wins on our last judgment, uh, judgment draft, draft on the channel. So that brought me to exactly 200 wins, which is pretty cool. But what I've noticed is that takes an, that it takes an extremely long time to get matched with somebody. Like, I think that judgment i'm not sure if it's a hidden rating or it's just simply by number of wins in judgment that does the matchmaking for that it's not it's like it is like similar to ranked in that it's supposed to match you with people of equal skill it's been a real problem for me lately and i've just constantly been getting matched with uh with just people after long like i, I tell somebody i'm playing judgment to kuni q and then it takes like five minutes to get a match which is crazy and um i don't know it might be a bug with the matchmaking but i've been waiting such a long time for judgment so i'm act i don't want to make also i have the avatar screen up because i'm actually really considering buying a buying one of these avatars a lot of gold up 156 thousand gold another like 20 or so thousand on my other account and um surprised i haven't bought any of these yet i got this one because i bought the decay deck in the week of decay um so that's cool and but i hope hopefully I'll, i can get the exclusive avatar head from esl that'd be nice but so because of the long wait time most likely i'm going to actually do this on my other account so bear with me okay so you can just take again on my profile screen while the other scrolls is loading up is that even gonna work yeah, I can open two scrolls at once. Once, right? I love the new. If you don't, if you guys don't use the loot, the new, the new launcher, you gotta use the new launcher. The new scrolls launcher is awesome. Okay, so now it should be on scrolls. There we go. Um, yeah. So the new launcher lets you. Uh, it's, you kind of have to dig dig for it on scrolls.com. It's like hidden in one of the uh, blog posts. But it's really nice. You can switch between accounts without typing password, and it's pretty cool. It's it's a little it's slow. It opens a little slower than just the, my old, old normal scrolls client does. But the time saved without typing in the password any, anymore and just clicking on which account you want to use and easily going to the test server in one in one client is really 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 cool. So we're going to see some judgment on this account because this account. Let's see how many judgment wins does it have? Only fifty four. So I tend to find matches so much faster. Um, hopefully they fix that uh, relatively soon because before you know it, this account's gonna have like 200 judgment wins, and then I'm gonna have more problems. Uh, okay, so Automod Forge, Faith Genes, Witch Doctor, Blight Seed. Witch Doctor is obviously the scroll here. Well, not obviously. Well, Forge is also really good. I'll take one of these two, depending on what I see down here. And I see a Stitcher down here. I see a Asian that's pretty good, and I see this row is pretty bad. I guess Ashram is probably the best thing here, but it's kind of bad. I think I, de I definitely like this Witch Doctor Stitcher combo going. So I'll grab the Witch Doctor. And I know energy is really easy to make work in Judgment, so maybe the Forge would have been better. I don't know. Uh, we'll take the Horn of Ages. Maybe we can get some Horn of Ages Puppet Soldier action going. I mean, best scroll to take would probably just be the creature, the Ash Runner. But I like to be a little risky. So I'll take that. Um, Desperation, Monstrous Brew, this, I've never actually gotten like a big Monstrous Brew to go off before. Let's grab the Stitcher. By the way guys, I haven't been getting many submissions for, uh, for Judgment, uh, in Top Scrolls Puzzle Week. That's fine too, like, that, that, sometimes Judgment makes for even wackier plays because you play uh, normally unused cards. So, please, you can submit those to Top Scrolls of Plays with, stop, Top Scrolls Plays of the Week as well. Um... Uneasy Alliance or Infected Grave Lock. There is a Royal Skirmisher with the same Royal Crown of Strength. New Rose Needle might be the best option. I'll grab the Infected Grave Lock just be its creature. It's a solid two drop. I mean, it's really not that good because of the move, but whatever. A little Darkling's pretty good. Uh, let's grab the Monstrous Brew to stay on color. And now, oh, there's a new route. I like, oh, there's two champions in this row. I've never seen that before. It's also a hunter. Hunter's really good for decay as well. Um, I'll grab the one problem I think with the uh, 
that's drafting a lot of decay in judgment is the fixed ra the fixed rarity among rows i think hurts it a little bit because almost all of decay's good scrolls are rare decay is probably the most rare scrolls um like the most good rare scrolls of all the factions so you can only like find them like every couple of rows when it's a fixed rarity thing like this so like this and this will appear in the same row so that kind of sucks but we will take the probably the Nero. We are already going to six. So I don't mind taking the Nero. So two champions are away. Well. Um, Void Gate is actually pretty good. It's like an ultimate wall, but you're you you're almost giving up an idol though. But that's probably an okay price. Um, I will take another Horn of Ages. I think I think that could be really important. Um, let's take the Void Gate. Bog Hound is decent. Not a human for the Witch Doctor, but it's okay. Take the husk in case any more creatures. This good order stuff. I could try to make an order deck here, but I think we're really far into decay that I think I'm gonna be fine. Um, Non-decay structure you control. Do I have any non-decay structures? No. It'd be awesome if like puppet soldier worked with unbind and all that, and it, that'd be cool. But uh, another monstrous brood. A lot of good scrolls here. It's a veteran, divinator. Look, I've, we have a lot of good decay scrolls. I really don't think we're going to be in another faction. Actually, it might just be in order, so I'll, I'll take the Aging Knight. Because we do have some Horn of Ages. Uh, Beetlestone. Beetlestone, cards that work better with more of the same card don't work that well in Judgment because you're not guaranteed to draw more of them. So the Monstrous Brood would probably be a better pick. Then again, I don't have any like identical, the same thing, things. Um, I don't think we want two monstrous broods. Let's just take the beetle stone. Maybe we can get another one. Here, blessing face is good to splash. I guess I'll take the night scholar. Maybe I can get to it. I don't know. I like the HV of the wings, but HV is a little underrated. It's pretty good scroll. It really just stops the opponent from a big attack for one turn for only one cost from you. I'll take the Blessing of Haste here. The Wing Soldier over the Bitter Root probably is. Bitter Root kind of sucks. I'm not getting great decay. So, oh, the other recruits are pretty good because I'm going decay order. Um, so I'll take the Wing Soldier, another human for the Witch Doctor. Um, I guess the Monstrous Brood might not play it. Definitely Tethered, tethered Recruit. Now, I think I'm going to take the Hex Marks. I already have a few order creatures but i want to take the hex marks i think that's gonna be a good good pick um bless it down here tries it in here that's perfect but here pillar of fatigue i don't want to screw both me and my opponent up pillar of fatigue it's not that fun to play with pillar, pillar of fatigue but i feel like decay plays with pillar of fatigue better than other factions because they normally don't want to attack all the time um, our sickening fumes, drain the mist of sickening fumes. I don't know what I want to take. I'll take the. I'm gonna want to move around. I don't have any. I don't have any um, eager scryers, so I'll take the sickening fumes. Um, now I'll actually just draw uh, eager scryer, but our hearts is pulls pretty decent. So these are. I just took three good decays of so four. A uh, ripper, another life stealer. This is going really well, and now it's kind of a standstill. How many decay scrolls do we have right now? We have 20. We can very easily go mono decay. Uh, well, I think that's our second uneasy alliance. I think uneasy alliance. Huh, I could have swore we had another uneasy alliance. It was definitely in there. Maybe I didn't pick it. I don't know. Um. Pillar of Fatigue, I guess. Um, another Horn of Ages, come on, give me a Puppet Soldier, please. Pest Simulator is pretty good, Rot Eater is awesome. Now, let's see, is there an Animovore here? No, so I should probably take the Fester and Freak over the Scavenger Construct. So I'll grab, I don't have any, like, Necrogans either. Neuro's Needle is pretty decent. Judgment, Harvester, or, or a Hunter. The Hunter's the human, but Harvester's the awesome creature. Uh, I'm not saying Hunter's not cool. Hunter is pretty cool, but... You know what I mean. Um, let's grab the Faith Blessing. Probably won't use it. There's an Animavore. Now I kind of wish I got the the Scavenger Construct, but you know those things clutter the board. They're not that fun to play with. Uh, I guess I'd take the Harvester here. I know I want the Human for the Witch. Are we only one Witch Doctor though? So I'll just grab the Harvester. Harvester's really good. 
Animavore. Now there is only one Decay Scroll in these next three rows, and it's Shadow and Life. We have 28. Okay, we can very. There's a very good chance we're gonna go Mono Decay. But if I get like one Puppet Soldier, I think I'm, I think I'm not going to. This phone is really annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but. Uh, I'll grab. I don't know, the Wing Shield probably won't use it. Okay. There's Oblivion Seeker. That's really good. So I don't know. I'll just take whatever here. Um. Shred of on life. Destroy the husk. Is, uh, that's kind of like meh. And there we go. There's, oh, there's two Yarl Urhalds in this draft. Wow, do I think the restless bones are the children of suffering? So it looks like we are a mono decay. Um, take whatever there. This or sage is here. Fog count, Adam War. We don't have a scavenger construct. Um, Totem Suffering Restless Bones. What undead creatures do we have? We have a Husk. We have a Witch Doctor that will be spawning Husk. We have a Nuru Flesh Seamstress. That's a lot of undead creatures we have. Um, and we also... But then Totem Suffering. I like. I'm going to grab the Totem of Suffering. I see that played less often. Russell's Bones can make for a really cool play. Uh, you know, we're, we go for cool plays. We're going to go for the Russell's Bones. Yeah. That can make like, the Harvester go off, and like it could be a lot of fun. Um, Boghound here, and Visser Sage. So let's see. We can... Alright, we're definitely Mono Decay. I mean, Busting Face would be cool. Splash Horn of Ages, too. But we have so many decay stars, we don't need to. Uh, let's put in the cards we definitely want. First. Uh, definitely want... Uh, yeah, we'll, I would say we definitely want that. Um, yeah, I'll take that. I like the both New Year's Needles. Rust of Spoons. I'll take the Void Gate. Pest, Stitcher, Life Stealers. Definitely. Definitely Oblivion Seeker. Definitely Wish Doctor. And definitely New Root. Okay, so now we have to choose eight of these. They're not really that good. I'll, I'll take the hex marks first. Um, how many creatures do we have? Only sixteen creatures. That's actually not. That's not a little. That's perfect amount, really. Um, so we don't really need more creatures. We have big creatures too, like Nuru, Witch Doctor, Life Stealers. So I don't know. Maybe we do want a Splash Order because these creatures over here are not that good. Like this stuff. Everything here is kind of meh. So, do we want to go Mono Decay with a bunch of Ness Scrolls? Or do we want to splash into Order and get awesome stuff like Blessing of Haste and Horn of Ages? But, with Blessing of Haste and Horn of Ages, that means it's probably going to be a little harder to get up to the new, new Flesh Seamstress as fast. Really, all we would splash is like a Blessing of Haste and a couple Horn of Ages and maybe an Aging Knight. So, I don't think it'd be worth it. Yeah, it's not going to be worth it. First, I'll grab the Animavore, because that could be actually pretty decent on a Rod Eater. Um, the Atrophy can be helpful. Uh, I guess... Festering Freak, Husk, and Infected Greylock. Those are the three creatures. Pillar Fatigue, in case I want to put it out. And... Monstrous Brood, in case there's a bunch of Husks that I want to play with. Sure. Okay. Looks good. This deck looks pretty good, so let's call it Mono Decay. A lot of decay stuff uh, recently on my channel for, I guess, makes sense because ESL is, is because the Decay SSL. ESL. It's kind of funny they call it ESL. It's not, it's not that funny, but like, I'm not sure what it is in other parts of the world, but um, like in schools in America, ESL. It usually stands for English Second Language. So, like, those are the classes you take if, if you need uh, better learning and speaking English. Um, but obviously, my favorite ESL is the Electronic Sports League. So, let's get in the match. Okay, we found a match. Let's jump to the story. Uh, you might hear, like, a faint... I might actually not be that faint because it's actually very close to my mic. A, um, a, like, calming sound. My computer's making a bit of noise right now because it is recording 
at the same time as rendering another video. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, pretty decent sort of hand, I think. Um, rest of the bombs of the harvest I'm gonna keep. <laughs> okay. No, I'm gonna cancel this, uh... Okay, I just canceled the rendering in the background. I'll restart it later. It's making too much... Yeah, now that it just got a lock while you're... It's being a little annoying, you know? Um... I am going to play the Visser Sage. Even if he engages me, I'll have a Pillar Fatigue or a Harvester for protection. Probably the Pillar Fatigue. So he is moving down. Hmm. Any second for... Ooh. Scavenger Construct. Cool. Uh... So, in that case... I guess I'll... I just drew a witch doctor, so I kind of have to sacrifice the restless bones. I'll play the pillar of fatigue. Okay, I probably could have moved up and played it, but then he would be on pace to just like kind of hurt that pillar of fatigue like a lot. This may not be the best deck for me to face. I'm gonna go ahead and say that with certainty. Bog cam on your sack wrapper scrolls. It's gonna be hard to get to the witch doctor just yet. Actually, that's nice drawing the statue of you, then I can slowly work my way up there. Yeah, the harvester in this is not gonna be too good. Put it up there. Because he is just going to, like, get counts and increase when he moves. I almost regret putting that pillar fatigue down, but I protected my, my guy right there. Actually, it should help me in the long run because I think my deck is going to have bigger, stronger, more creatures than his. So, uh, if it does become a standstill where we can't move around and attack each other, we'll all hit the idols harder. So he is moving up. And a Storm Runner. That is really annoying. And we that's the one thing in this Decay deck we didn't get. We didn't get... We didn't get... We weren't able to find any damn curses, soul steals, languids. Not much removal for us. Some more just like big creatures. So, this might not go too well. Uh, let's grab the Stitcher. Put it right there. Okay, so I guess next turn I could just sack resources, play the fetch turn freak, but hopefully I draw like a life sealer or a Oblivion Seeker in the next turn, Witch Doctor. And hopefully that Storm Runner is just gonna work on killing that pillar of fatigue because that would be much better than him killing any nice important creatures okay so he is moving up oculus can okay um professor freak deals damage every other creature gets professor and freak is attacked in melee okay oh we do get a life spell, so we don't have to even use professor and freak um Okay, you can't move. Yeah, he might have like a burn just to get rid of that and then move. That could be a problem. Let's go ahead and just put a life stealer down here. Okay. So. This. This Oculus Cannon combined with my filler fatigue means we really not want to move one of these guys in this row. Stitch, I've learned that using Stitcher just to make a life stealer bigger is actually really worthwhile. These life stealer heals itself uh, when it attacks usually. So, um, larger attack and more health just means a better life stealer. <laughs> and it will count on my harvester too. Let's see what he has. Sack for resources, maybe a burn. Bombard, oh wow. I did not expect him having a bombard. Oh man. Well, at least, uh, I'll just count down a little. Okay, well, I'm going to play the Witch Doctor next. I'll leave the Harvester open. I'll play it next to the, the Visser Sage. I really, I think I'm too, 
too cautious with moving my creatures. I really should move them more. If he had Bombard in his deck, he might. He he'll probably win this match. Bombard is one of those scrolls that I think really should be changed. It's just three cost and it can do so much. And it's just not only that. People that play energy don't like it either because it's like the only trick they have in energy. But when you get that, it just means everything. So that's why I think the energy um, ESL won't be that uh, won't be that fun because it's just going to be bombards after bombards after bombards. And it's just like it's just like whoever gets the bombard at the right time wins the match. Or it's just going to be really boring structure energy matches. <laughs> One or the other. Uh, Nuru's needle is really good for this. Yeah, New Regina is going to stop you right in your tracks. Let's do that. So you, don't move. New Regina all in your attack move. Against Curse 1, okay. Yeah, so you can just kill that. Uh, no point in moving you. Unless he has another, if he has another Bombard in his deck, then... Well played. I almost just moved him up. That would have been bad. <laughs> I really should have put the spot on the front row, but too late now. I couldn't move him because of that Aki skin would have gone off. So, Darkling. It's be hard for me to destroy those structures. That's okay. Darkling. Um. Hopefully my harvester survives. If my harvester goes off. I think I'm okay because I can probably clear that row up there. We'll see. It depends on what other stuff he has. I really neutralized that Storm Runner, which is really good. Not just one attack going off every other turn in a small part of the board. Machine Divinator. So that I have to kind of worry about. Um, if I had a Soul Steel, that would be a lot of fun. But I don't have a soul steel. I really don't have any removal in here. If I had a rest if I drew the rest of bones now. Oh boy. <laughs> uh Nero's needle is another really good another another Nero needle is pretty good. Uh looks like I'm just gonna play the pest. But now I can move freely. So that's a, a really, really, really nice. Uh so I'll just move down, I guess. Get out of the way and hope for dear life that doesn't have like a bombard imaginated or all that stuff, you know. I'll just play you. Okay. So now the harvester goes off. So we'll see if he has like a burn to destroy it, which would be pretty disappointing. I was seconding fumes. Ready to go, but I'm probably not going to use it. I'm not sure that second in fumes be a draining mist. But again, pretty they're pretty similar cards. They do the same. Um, they have the same purpose. Like it, it like uh, suppresses an oncoming attack. Actually, no. Signify suppresses an oncoming attack. Uh, draining mist like delays an oncoming attack. Dream Mist is one extra cost and and really hurts against stuff like Harvest. It doesn't look like he has something to destroy that Harvest, which is pretty good. And it looks like I'm going to be able to destroy the, ch the Charge Coil and, uh, not the, the Ash Runner and Oculus Can. That's good. Or I can destroy this Storm Runner that's not really doing anything to me, so I won't do that. Uh, I could sick any fumes this turn, but I'm not going to. I'm going to attack Void Gate, New Reflection. I want to get that new route. out. I want to get that new route. out. Uh, let's see. Through there. I am going to Um, I want you to be able to poison people next turn.
So let's put the void gate down. Okay. And I do want order. So. Um. I don't want to just give him up though, so I'll put him down here. Back here so that the storm doesn't kill him. Yeah. So that's pretty good. That that void gate's basically ultimate, like a great wall. Like he can't, he, I don't, he needs like a burn or something to get through there. So hopefully I can poison his stuff next turn. Unless he has like two structures to put in front. Okay. We have a witch doctor attacking next turn as well, so we can't forget that. I hope he doesn't put anything we need to deal with this coming turn on the board, so then I have a next turn I can just attack resources so I can get a new route out next turn. I, I saw in a couple of matches, Nuru behind a void gate is really good because Nuru, like, you want to just protect. He's just going to give you husks and just make it constantly attacking, and the harvester's going to go down and all that stuff. But, and void gate, just you can't break through. Gives me a free, gives a free idol, but I mean, it's harder for like something like growth to break through, uh, void gate or or decay or order. Order can't break through, but order can move it around. But, um, like, energy can is probably the best at countering void gate because they could just burn it or like spark a couple sparks, all that stuff. But, uh, incendiary, stick bomb, all that fun stuff. But it looks, but we, this is judgment, so we, so we're not sure that he has the right uh, place to combat that, and he didn't this turn. Just another charge, but we can't just let that go, un. Just like we can't let that. Okay, so we're just gonna poison both of these guys here, and put you there. I'm going to destroy this charge coil over the scavenger construct. Um, just in case this charged coil ends up hitting this tether girl, make sure it's next to the witch doctor. That'll be our turn. He's probably like, he's gonna play the new room next turn. At least I sack the resource without doing anything else. So too bad he's gonna be able to destroy my pest simulator next turn. But right now, uh, his, this rod eater will die from poison as long as nothing else dies adjacent to it. Or he doesn't buff it or anything. Like as it stands, if he doesn't do anything to that rod here, nothing happens to it, it will die in two turns. So, we're creeping back. Either problem, that could be a problem. Just like normal, like, uh, decay versus energy with flawed structures and ranks. This is pretty similar. Wait, so if the charge girl hits the void gate, we'll do one damage to idle. Yeah, that's perfect. That was uh, exactly uh, what I wanted to test there. So yeah, just, so the charge goal did one damage to the idol there. It's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so not really much of a threat here. I'll let him destroy this husk. Give me that. Give me some extra stuff. Um, he can't thunder surge. I don't really mind moving down. I want to just do some damage to this scavenger contract because this. There's really not no point not to, right? I don't think there's much of a point not to. I want to stay out of you, your range. I'm going to move you down so I can possibly get the witch doctor attacking behind you if I need to. Uh, actually, I'll hide the husk down here then. And play the new roo in the. Oh, I'm kind of stuck with where I want to put the new roo. I could just put the new roo right in the front there. I'll probably, I'll probably move it soon. Um, okay. So the new roo is going to make the harvester attack much more often. It's going to make the harvester have more attack, right? And the husks have more attack. So it's going to be really good. Oh, it's Dominion Undead Creatures you control your plus to attack. So actually. Actually, the 10 attack harvester, 5 attack husks are not going to happen for a while because his idols are pretty healthy. That kind of sucks. Second for more wild. 
So if he has Thunder Surge now, he's going to stack for it, but stack to get to it, and he can't play this turn, though. It's a pretty good judgment match. I like the judgment matches like this, where it's like a close match. A lot of times, judgment just one person's attracted a lot better than the other person, so it's not really that fun. This is pretty fun. Okay, so let's see. He's protecting that. The seed pop. Okay, so let's see. That hits that. Um, let's sacrifice the tribesmen and we get a hex marks. That's cool. So, I guess we should be killing the rot eater. Yeah, we'll kill the rot eater and the. I could almost take an aisle to get the dominion this turn. I'm not going to do the hex marks, so I'll just play a ripper. Yeah, so I'll take out these two guys. They're going to die. Both of you are going to die. Too bad I don't have any rot eaters to eat up that damage. Um, yeah, so you're gonna die. Uh, you know, if he, if he has Thunder Surge in his hand, I, I'm gonna be kind of. That's gonna be very sad. But I wanna get this just behind the Void Gate for good, kind of. And I do wanna start moving this Harvester down. Um, and I'll just put the Ripper here. So, hopefully, there's the Rot Eater. Hopefully, I can... Hopefully, it doesn't have Thunder Surge. That's the first thing. <laughs> Thunder Surge would hurt. The Harvester would go off. But it would hurt a lot. Wait, it's all combat damage dealt to it, right? Yeah, all combat damage dealt to the Void Gate. And no, but no Thunder Surge. Thunder Surge, darn it. I was risky there. And I shouldn't have been. Well, unless he has a return to nature or the harvester attacks. Oh no, the harvester dies because of the ether pump. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. He had the thunder surge. He had the thunder surge. That really sucks. He had a thunder surge. That was, that probably is the game right there. Having the thunder surge, that's so huge. That's really, really huge. I could go with the monstrous brood. And get a bunch of monstrosities. <laughs> That's pretty fun, actually. <laughs> uh, the harvester is only here. These, these husks are going to die afterwards, so I'm going to actually go with the monstrosities. It works, right? This is a hus. This token creature will it work. Well, these, this token creature also. I can do that, right? Not, not just brood will work. I assume so. Um, let's do it. Yay! Monstrosities for life. And he can get another thunder surge now. So we gotta watch out. Uh, let's. I have to bunch you guys up. And if it's another Thunder Surge, that would suck. Well, he does. If he just draws them, up, if he just draws Thunder Surge early on, that would be really bad. Okay. No, no Thunder Surge, please. Man, that was such a big play, that Thunder Surge. I was just, I was just like sitting there, just like waiting for it. I was like, oh, whatever. He is a. I doubt he has Thunder Surge. He's been pretty low resources all day, but he had a Thunder Surge. Darn it. <sighs> Probably caused us the mass because we're not going to destroy those structures. We have three monstrosities. Which is pretty cool. Um, we're still okay because this seamstress is going to do stuff. We need to destroy this. Uh, hex marks. I. <sighs> Actually, what I was saying before it would be good to get order out. We're playing mono decay. It doesn't matter for order. Uh. Let's. I want to destroy. Let's move you down. 
Oh no, that that puts you. I can move you so you get more health. Yeah. I mean, have you guys touching so you have more health so you don't die as easily? I'll put down an Oblivion Seeker. I probably should have moved it up there now. I can't move down next turn. Okay, so my husks are gonna spawn. And maybe I can destroy that ether pump. I need to destroy that ether pump. Also, this. The monstrous brood I did probably wasn't that worth it. Probably wasn't. Alright, I wanna get another harvester. Another harvester would be really good. Let's see, I need some lucky spawns with the husk, where they're gonna be. If they, if they spawn in spots I don't need them, like I really want. Alright, there we go. He, he furied. Which, oh no, it's on my turn, he furied, so that means all his stuff attacks. What, is that, what does that mean for us? Was that a good fury for him? I don't know. I guess it spawns the husks already, so. Interesting. Atrophy. Uh, this is a very long match. Oh no, that's like that's like a board clear. Almost. Oh wow. You know this is GG. This game's over. The, these husks are gonna die after this turn. Unless I can draw like a harvester right now, I'm kind of done. I know harvester. Yeah, this is basically over. Uh, so yeah, so he's gonna have to like a witch doctor down. But like, he's just gonna die. And he's thunder searching his deck. That thing dies. Yeah, so you guys die. This game is practically over. Man. If, if that one big thunder search play just didn't happen, I just. Why did I just. Why was I so. So, uh. I don't even know what the word would be. Bombard, maybe. Oh my god. That was so bad. That was so, so, so bad. Oh, you're gonna die. Why'd I put you back there? I really thought this was a good deck too, but it's fine. I could still get five wins with it if I don't lose another match with it. I thought it was a pretty good deck. Life Stealers, Harvesters, Witch Doctors, Witch Doctor, Harvester, Life Stealers, <laughs> Oblivion Seeker, Tri Elmire Tridesman, Ripper. Huh. Even a new Reflesh Seamstress. I really thought I think it is a good deck. I think uh, I definitely made huge misplays during this match, but well played by uh, Sirik. I probably read that as Sir Isaac in the beginning. Sir Isaac is a scrolls, a pretty um, well-known scrolls player. Sirik, but well played by him. I was like, that's not necessarily wow. Really, really, really hurt. Well. That kind of. I'm just gonna surrender. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna be able to break into those forces. We don't have any removal in the deck. So, yeah, it's kind of funny how the ether pumps and charge coil do damage to the idol when they hit the hit the uh, void gate. It's really interesting. Um, yeah, I don't think I'd be able to win this game. I'm not breaking into these forces. So I'm just gonna say GG. Well played. Well played by him. Not so well played by me. Uh, it was a fun match. I'll give it five stars. Oh, starting off with the loss is tough. I have to win five straight now. I think we could do that. I think it's a pretty good deck as long as I don't make any major misses like that. And then, like I said, I think this is a pretty bad deck for me to face because it's hard for me to deal with structures and stuff. But its creators are probably okay because the newer needles are like pseudo removal, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, 
very long judgment video, but I hope uh, you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you submit your top plays to top plays of the week. Uh, subscribe if you want more content like this. Like the video or dislike the video, depending on how much you enjoyed. And keep on playing scrolls. So I will see you all next time.